There's one, yeah, one one way that we could go about this is using um, using like Apollo client side queries. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could do that. Definitely do that. Like, I think if, do that actually. Yeah, if we if we've got if we've got till five, why don't we just spend the next twenty minutes, we'll, like, yeah, that's putting a together a client idea. side resolver that reads from reads from the token in local storage and then gives us uh, a boolean if we're logged in or not. Oh yeah, let's do it. Okay, so, um, I'll I'll uh, I'll drive for a second here. Yeah. Um, one thing that we're going to want to do is in our Apollo client instance, uh, this is where we can set up client side resolvers. So I can just go in here and say resolvers. Um, oh, here we go. Create a map of resolvers here, starting on the query level. Um, we'll say is logged in. And this will look something like this. Like, well, I guess we could just return get item local storage yeah. dot get item storage uh get item journey token token cool but we also need to be able to set uh, that with a mutation right yes uh we can we can actually set it um we can just set it using like cache dot um write data yes like just just set it directly to the cache uh, without having to write a specific mutation. Okay. So the way that that'll look is in here. Um, our within our submit handler, um, rather than setting is logged into true, what we can do is just say, well, first of all, we're gonna need, need cache. Yeah. Um. All right. A couple things here. One 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 thing I'm noticing is we're already we already have one use query hook in here, and mm -hmm. what I like to do usually is uh, yeah, like split split apart these these concerns. So really, we should we should only be listing our job listings once we're logged in. Yeah. So we can we can sort of separate this out in this sort of way. Um, what I'm going to do we're, we can separate this into multiple files at some point, but yep. um, just for the purposes of getting this example up, up and running, we're going to create a new function called like uh, job listings. Love it. And it's going to return our, uh, yeah. our job listings just like this. Um, we can do it within uh, react fragment. Oh, oh shoot. did it again. There, there we go. I think I figured out how to make this work. Oh, I cool. can just uh, paste and then undo, and it'll it'll wow. put it back. That's and so wild. And the other thing we need is this graphical yeah, we move query. The query. Yeah. And we also have to move some of the messaging um, as well, like we're calling is loading or error. Right. Actually, that would, would stay because – no, yeah, no, that I, would go. You're, you're definitely right. Yeah. Okay. So now our our state is like if is not logged in, show the form. Otherwise, show nothing. Um, yeah. The uh, the other way that we could word this is like if we're logged in, show uh, job listings. Yeah. And otherwise, show a login form. I like it. All right. And while we're at it, what do you think about making the login form its own component as well? Sure, just yeah, to to make this nice and organized. So say function login form, and we're gonna return our form component. Yeah, because then that'll get rid of our event handler and just cleans everything up nice. Yeah. And for some reason that paste worked again. I, there's no rhyme or reason to this. Mind boggling. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And now I'll take our yeah our event take, handler. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Save that, and everything is looking pretty good here. Pretty good. Um, we got one more thing to do. Yeah, we need to now set. We need to set the 
um, token in our Apollo client uh, in, our in our Apollo client cache, and we need is logged in to be representative of the the, the actual query. Yeah. Yeah. So let's do that first part. Yeah. What we can do here is say const client equals use Apollo client, and that's from uh, at Apollo client use Apollo client. Well, that's very Actually, convenient. Just, I'm just thinking here. Um, yeah, that I think that's uh, probably a good way to go about it. The other yeah. thing that comes to mind is that you get, you can destructure a client from the response of use query. Mm -hmm. So if we if we were to keep the login form as part of the the like the index, um, we could get the logged in state and the client at the same time. But I don't know if that's like an optimization that's really worth it. Yeah, I um, like. The, I mean, the hook exists. I, I like using the hook to just pull the client out because that's really all we need for that. Part. It is all we need. You're right. All right. Let's, so let's just do this. We'll say, uh, and now when we get a, a a response that is successful, we can say client dot write data. Maybe not client cache. Ooh, uh, maybe so maybe we need let me to get some uh, highlighting. Stop. Apollo client cache um, write there's write write query and write fragment. Let's do uh, write write um, and so then these are the write options, which is an object and then data. Mm -hmm. Right, and then what goes here i think we just say is logged in right yeah is logged in and that's a token uh we would just be we would just be saying oh yeah it would we would be passing token you're right no we would say true is logged in is true yeah well we, what we want it to be is a boolean so let's do that true before we move forward let's reflect that in the client side resolver that we created yes. yeah so um, I'm over to Gatsby. Oh yeah, there we go. We're here. So then we're going to return bang bang. Sure. Right. The other other the other way that I uh, like another convention that I like to use to return a boolean is just um, casting the value to as a boolean. boolean this way. Yeah. Um, but I'm, fine but with I'm happy to do. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care either one. Both accomplish the same goal. Yeah. Maybe we could just. Uh, organize this a little bit like this so we can say like this is the token and we're returning the token cast as a boolean i like it it's very clean mine is very ambiguous unless you know what that does the double uh hash bang mm. or double well, bang yeah. if you if you hit save we'll get the prettier uh oh, semi at the end there there we go i hope nice okay yeah now we're back in the index file and uh, we're setting is logged into true. And now we can create a query for it. And you're already on the case. Love yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's so, do it. Uh, data loading error. Um, we're using a use query hook. And Kurt's going to write a GraphQL query in here that just calls the client side resolver that we created a few moments ago. Yep. And so I should just be able to do, oh, do I, have to write, I have to write query, right? Oops. You don't have oh. to necessarily. Oh, you don't have to, right? I didn't think so. Nope. It's a query by default. If you, if you write a mutation, you do have to write um, the mutation keyword. <clears throat> and so then this is our query, right? We're just going to do that. And then the, the big, uh, the, the important part to remember there is just the, we, we need to add the client directive. That's right. There we go. Okay. So now what this does, uh, this directive just says, hey, we're looking for this locally. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. 
<laughs> I have no idea, dude. Um, hey, uh, chat, quick show of hands. Who who here has, uh, out of people who have used Apollo client before, who has used client-side queries like this? Um, I'm curious to know. Yeah, me as well, actually. Um, okay, so while we are waiting on that, to see if um, that comes through. So here we've got... Um, title so now let's say const is logged in is going to be equal to data right i would just be mm -hmm. right off of data and there's there's one little nuance here is that yeah in polo client 3 the default value of data is undefined so um to account for that we actually want to express oh, this right. as a little bit differently we want to say is logged in equals data and data is logged in like that um question because we're mm -hmm. using gatsby which is like using babel which has like the latest stuff can't we oh. now just do this uh let's try it i don't know that works i'm not sure if if babel um does that or or, or gives us what what is that that Optional particular chaining. operator called i forget but I'm, it's called optional, optional chaining. chaining i'm not sure if it gives us option chaining, but let's I think find it out it does yeah um so i mean yeah because otherwise it'll just be broken if i go to yeah i mean it and it parsed it's it's running <sighs> that's amazing man yeah let's go to it's truly a dream yeah so i mean it seems to be working all right and we can Damn. confirm this by removing the token yeah. Oops, I think I just deleted everything. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> all right. And then, uh, yeah, so now we go. Oh, wait, here, I just. You just refresh. And look at that. So we got the login. And we get form. a login form. Now, this is the interesting part. When we log in, does it refresh immediately? Yeah. Ah. Well, first I have to get us logged in. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> you gotta I'm pass the, with. pass the first test. Uh, okay. uh oh, it got so, stored, but then in cache in memory cache, I think our write operation failed. Uh, oh, it has to be written as interesting a GQL tag, so it's not Let's expecting see. like an object. I'm, I'm just going to pop open the Apollo docs. Maybe yes, we can do this, do this on stream. Let's, let's take a look at, uh, yeah. link the docs in the, uh, in the chat. Okay. We'll do. Um, what I'm looking at here is this interacting with cache, um, interacting with cached data. Yeah, I think what we want is Actually, write query. Yeah, except I, I'm, I also want to look specifically for local state management. Okay, this is I think this is the article that we want. Um, <clears throat> so updating local state requires us to do a direct write. I know how to do this in version 3, uh, which is what we're using, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, here they're using write query. Yeah, you're right. All right. I think we let's, can let's, do this. Let's just do that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this because we're just, and then we'll just change it like on the fly. So here I'm just going to go, we're going to write query. So the thing is I'm going to right now. I have the query um, embedded here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this out. Sounds good. Uh, and we will put it up here. Uh, we'll call this logged in query. That's good, right? Looks great. Okay, cool. Um, so that's done. Now, um, logged in query, and then we're setting is 
logged in. Oh, actually, the data would probably just be because is logged in. It, we're not doing an object, right? Like our property is just true false. Mm -hmm. I think that's fine. Yeah, you can just. Oh, you no, that, no you're true. right. It is data dot visibility filter. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's you're right. OK, sorry. Um, yeah, it's all good. Confusing there. Oh, oh, here we go. So yeah, data is logged in, and then this is going to be equal to true. Beautiful. Try. Okay, so now this goes away. All right, so let's go try this again, right? Um, and then the other the other thing that we want to do is just Ooh. replace the the missing query oh, in thanks, here. I'll just judge. go logged in query. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, cool. Let's go try this. Okay. Okay, so we're there. We're going to take the token and delete it. We're logged out. Test. Password. Oh, look at that. And? Blue. Okay, cool. We logged in. I think the last thing that we can do to really, really round this out is just add a log out button. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. You got to be able to log out, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we did do it. Awesome. And thanks for joining us, Max. Yeah. We did <laughs> we it. We did it. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. It's cool. So yeah, let's do that. Um, and so now, uh, I guess in job listings, do we want that or do we want it like yeah. maybe in the header or like right above? Or above the listings, where should we put it? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll uh, defer that that decision to you. What do you think? I, I think for now, just because we have is logged in here, and I don't want to like pass it to a props on on jobs listing. I think that we'll do uh, we'll we'll have it here. So we'll make this um, a okay. fragment, and then uh, we'll close that. I like that. Yeah, and then we'll put it like right there above it. So sounds I good. Can say a. Uh, oh well, I'm gonna make it a button. Sure. Right. You can make it a shocker button even. Oh yeah, we can make it a shocker button. Just by doing that. Um, yeah. So let's see. I don't need to put type button then. I don't think. And then oh. does it work like a button where it has a closing, and then I put yeah, text exactly. in between it? Cool. All right, log out, and then it gets on click handler, I imagine, just like all React components. You got it. So now we're going to write another query here. So we need the clients here. Um, mm hmm. Or and is it a, yeah. This is well, it would be it would be pretty pretty simple actually. This it requires two parts. So one is yeah, we can destructure the client, um, but in order to make sure that you know we don't want to just set is logged in to false, no, we, want to we also want to delete yeah. the token exactly. So yeah. we'll do those two things, and we should be all good. Yeah, and then shouldn't we also like refresh the page or something to make sure that they're? Oh no! Mm. Once we update the property, once we the once cache, we update is logged in, it should refresh. Yeah. All right. So the first thing let's, we're going to do check. is local storage delete item. Right? Isn't that I what it is? I think it's remove item. Remove item. Thank you. <laughs> and that's uh, journey token. And then we're going to say um, uh, client dot cash dot write query. I think we can actually just say client dot write query in this case. Oh. Dot write query. Yeah. And then that And it's going to take two options. Yeah, query. And data. And it's locked in, right? Looks good. Looks good. Let's go test it. So we're here. So we got our log out button. I mean, we'll we'll deal with spacing and like how things look later. That's that's neither here nor there. So just to be sure, we refresh. We refresh. We have a token. We come over here. We log out. We have no token, and we are redirected back to login. That. Oh my God, gentlemen. Is success. That's what success looks like. 